Welcome back streamers reloaded, my name is Tom and let's get right into the news. And first up as always, we got the updates on the bans in the previous week, of which last week we only had one that came from The Art of DHT, who got banned after multiple threatening messages to a girl streamer and her mods. And as of right now, he is still banned. And we begin this week with two from Dr. Disrespect. The first one comes from an emote created from the E3 mistakes. Back on June 15 when Doc posted the E3 cap video to Twitter, Tim the Tapman responded with the following image. Doc then responded with what looks like potential emotes. That brings us on to this week where Doc showed us on a stream an email saying that his emote request got declined under disallowed content and generally inappropriate content. These dum dums at Twitch are approving other... They are approving wannabe doctor... Oh, God, I'm fucking... Anyways, I just wanted to let you guys know. No, I thought it was Villa. I tried. That's I said Dino Park or Winery. Then from Doc again, and this time including Ninja. Doc's return to stream went very well when Doc decided to throw some shade at Ninja and his sub count by saying the following. I, I haven't been on Twitch in a month, and I've only been on, I, I've literally only been on Twitch for 30 minutes in the past month. And I already have more subs than Ninja. <laughs> And well, what Doc said here is true. As far as the public subscriber stats goes, Doc has 16,000 while Ninja has 14,000. Where Doc's month of not streaming has lost in one place, Ninja has lost seven. Shortly after, Ninja was sent this clip, and so here is his response. And I already have more subs than Ninja. Look, you ready for <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right, let's knock it off. True. That's unfair though, man. I haven't been streaming the last like two weeks. So even though he's been banned for the last like week and a half, I've also not been streaming. You guys switching? He got I him, think dude. so. Got him. Clock! I'm trying to watch a clip, okay? Can you keep it down? On to Tuesday, we have one that spans over the week from the streamer Boobles. This began with her going on the Raj Patel podcast on Tuesday. Supposedly, she was acting a bit strange, and her top donator, who gave her $11,855, had a problem with the way she acted on the show. So first, the clip from her stream where she reads out the message she got from her donator. Let me tell you about all the shit that he was saying about the girls that were on the stream today. And me. <clears throat> He said, I'm so sick of it. You can literally, okay. I, show for I told him he was getting mad at me for the shit that I was saying on stream. You know, like seeing that Canoe could slam me through a wall sexually and stuff like that. Some dumb fucking shit. Literally, he's saying to me, this, the slut shit is unattractive. The cocaine shit is unattractive. Your attitude is shit. You need to grow the fuck up. This is a top donator, by the way. This is not my friend. This is not my friend boyfriend this is the guy that donates to my stream and thinks that he's entitled to shit are you ready for the rest of it i said this is for a show that's it he said it's not though like i said you always lie it's bullshit i said okay getting mad about the raw show is ridiculous can you imagine that guys can you imagine some random person donating to your stream and then getting mad about a show that you're on insane this clip was then posted to reddit and the donator responded saying that the majority of the money was a loan and she decided she didn't want to pay back when i said i didn't want to be with her as well posting images of the messages between him and devon who is boobles here he posted three screenshots showing boobles and disruptive order having been in a relationship but boobles was messing around with other guys as well examples of boobles begging for money and the last screenshot shows messages from boobles saying that she isn't going to give the money back which afterwards Boobles posted to Twitter saying that she didn't say any of that. Which is where we come on to Thursday with the Reddit post which gathered all the information about Boobles and the donator getting over 20,000 upvotes. The post begins saying what I've already showed you, adding that she made it look like this was a donator to get away from theft. Then going on to say, she manipulated him into getting more than $11,000 by saying she loved him and she would move to Cali for him, making it seem like it was a relationship. This guy went into deep debt because he was trying to help her. When she realized 
realised that he didn't have any money left, she decided to get rid of him. Then posting the mother load of screenshots. I'm going to summarise them, but if you want to read further, you can pause the video or read the originals posted down below. The first two images show further proof they were in a relationship. Then a set of Discord DMs showing that Booble's asking for more money and that she hadn't paid him back for the last borrowed amount, which there are multiple money requests here. Then the second set of screenshots show more money requests, as well as a glimpse into Booble saying that she would visit the donator, as well as how he cared for her. Then the first set of demands where Boobles wants a car and an apartment paid alongside more money requests. The third showing previous screenshots as well as a request for the donator to take out a loan, which she would move to Cali if he did. The final set of DMs show Boobles now saying that she's in danger multiple times and requesting more money. This is where Boobles has once again come out on Twitter saying these screenshots are faked, as well posting a screenshot of her donator saying they were faked. Then this was called out for being faked so she posted a video so that it seems real. This is where finally the original Reddit post had an update saying the donator is being manipulated and forced into DMing her saying he faked the screenshots. So really this entire situation comes down to who do you believe? Then following on we go back to Tuesday, first up from Palav who got banned permanently back in episode 109, tweeted out a screenshot of an email from Twitch showing that his ban has now been lifted. Then following on we have three bans throughout the week that come from streamers driving and not paying attention to driving. On Tuesday we have a ban that comes from the two female streamers by the names of Brie and Katie, which is also the channel name. In the clip the driver is reading chat as well as eating ice cream. I mean, we're like driving. Like, yeah, but you need to have it like where it's above us, so. She is holding the steering wheel. Brie and Katie have been banned and are currently still banned. Then on to Wednesday with the same sort of situation revolving around reckless driving, this time from the Polish streamer Pajalok, who in the same 30 second clip almost ran over two sets of pedestrians. So first up, here's the clip. <laughs> Pajalok has of course been banned and is still banned, as well the Polish news website Not Even Gonna Try has reported that the matter has already been taken care of by Zakopane police. Then on to Thursday, the last ban coming from driving comes from Knut, who said through his Discord that he received a 7 day ban because he had his backpack on his lap while he was driving down a block. Of course, no clip, but he is banned. Also on Thursday, a follow on from Pokimane, which last week we had Pokimane getting offended by the general reaction of her story to Pokimane video. So this week we have a clip where she talks about the video and the part XQC played in it. Not much more say. Mob. That brings us on to Saturday and the last one for this week coming from the streamer Below Zero, who had a normal game on Mortal Kombat 11 on the PS4. During the game he beat his opponent, before the game the streamer received two links. One of these was a map link and the other one was a fake YouTube link. After the game the user sent more messages which were a bit more threatening. See it, ya later. This guy- OH MY GOD! Look at this message this dumbass sent me. Spamming You're playing such around, you're calling me a spamming That wouldn't be your house. Wait, what? I'd be careful, I- What the f*** are you about? The streamer decides to take the bait and clicks these links, but instead of doing it on stream, he does it on his iPad. That's- Dude, he act. how the f*** did he get this? I click this, that's exactly where I live. That's not okay, yeah. No, yeah, like I'm not even, I'm not even memeing guys, like he legit has it. I'm True, he does now have your information, but he didn't till the streamer clicked the link. Shortly after the streamer goes to report the player's profile, and now the guy has this person's information, the streamer gets hit offline. Afterwards, Below Zero did post the messages he received from this user to Twitter, where God of Blade said, either A, you pay me $50 and I'll leave you alone, or B, you delete the game or break the disc. As of right now, the user who sent these malicious messages to the streamer and probably most of the people he plays against hasn't been banned on the PS4 network. But that's actually it for the video today. I want to thank you guys for watching as normal and I hope to see you in the next one. Sweet.